Good afternoon, Maria. Well, what's flying on the flags here at this school has sparked a debate about what it means to be Catholic and who gets to decide. Beneath the American flag, a pride flag and a Black Lives Matter flag have been flying outside the Nativity School of Worcester for more than a year. The school teaches about 60 boys in grades 5 through 8 from both Catholic and non-Catholic families. The school says the flags are, quote, to remind our young men, their families, and Nativity Worcester staff that all are welcome here and that they are valued and safe in this place. However, Bishop Robert McManus, seen here in file video, says the BLM flag has, quote, been co-opted by some factions which instill broad brush distrust of police. And the LGBTQ pride flag, he says, runs counter to church teaching that sacramental marriage is between a man and a woman. In a statement, Bishop McManus questioned if the school should still be called Catholic, and some parishioners leaving midday mass at the cathedral agree. Yeah, I agree with Bishop McManus and what he's doing, and I think uh, all bishops across the country should be making statements for all Catholic schools who are doing the same thing. If they want to continue to call themselves a Catholic school, then they should follow his guidelines. But the school points out it does not answer to the local bishop, but rather to the Jesuits, an independent order of the Catholic Church headquartered in Rome. The school says it provides tuition-free education, mostly to students of color, with funding from private donations. This mother, who says her son is applying to be a student here, thinks the school should stand its ground. And we're in 2022. It's like we all come from different backgrounds. We have different beliefs. Let's just be kind to one another and let, let people be. Neither the school nor the diocese would do an interview with us today. In his statement, the bishop indicated that both sides are still talking about this issue. Live in Worcester, David Beanick, WCVB News Center 5.